We look at it, the criteria for selecting a stock is really the criteria for looking at a business. Uh, we are looking for a business we can understand. That means they sell a product that we think we understand and we understand the nature of their competition, what could go wrong with it over time. And then when we find that business, we try to figure out whether the economics of it means the earning power over the next five or 10 or 15 years is likely to be good and getting better or poor and getting worse. But, but we try to evaluate that future stream. And then we try to decide whether we're getting in with some people that we feel comfortable being in with. And then we uh, try to decide what's an appropriate price for what we've seen up to that point. And uh, as I've said last year, what we do is simple but not necessarily easy. Uh, the, uh, what the checklist that is going through our mind is not, a, not very complicated. Uh, knowing what you don't know is important, and sometimes that's not easy. And knowing the future is definitely, uh, it's impossible in many cases in our view, and, and it, it's difficult in others, and sometimes it's relatively easy, and we're looking for the ones that are relatively easy. And then we, uh, and then when you get all through, you have to find it at a price that, that's interesting to you, and that's very difficult for us now, although there have been periods in the past where it's been a total cinch. Uh, and that's what goes through our mind. If you were thinking of buying a, a service station or a dry cleaning establishment or a convenience store in Omaha to invest your life savings in and run as a business, you think about the same sort of things. You think about the competitive position and what it would look like five or ten years from now and how you were going to run it, who was going to run it for you, and how much you had to pay. And that's exactly what we think of as when we look at a stock, because a stock is nothing other than a piece of a business. Charlie?